Hello Gemini, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty quick general reading for you, something that you're not expecting, but it would benefit you to expect it. Um, these are going to be general, I'm going to try to keep them short, but if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the description. Alrighty, so we're going to look at what's happening for you that you're not expecting, but again, it would benefit you to expect it. So what's happening for Gemini that they don't expect? What is happening for Gemini? Son of Cups, okay, all right. So some sort of offer of love, confession, or some emotions that are expressed that are coming in. Um, someone's planning to do this. Okay, show me more. Eight of Pentacles, okay, it's being worked on. Something's being worked on. Someone could be working on themselves. Um, someone could be working on their abundance. Um, this could be, th this is someone who is, is planning on making a move of some kind. There's work being put into it. Um, there could be someone that's planning a date. Planning a date and they're kind of going all out for the date or something like that. Um, also, someone could be planning, trying to plan to get you a pretty big gift. Um, could be an expensive gift. Could be for a holiday or could be for anything, but someone's planning to give something. A lot of work has gone into it or someone has worked on themselves a lot to get to this point. Um, There could be something, a project even, that someone's working on. I'm um, trying to create abundance from a certain project. Okay, show me more. Show me more, please, for Gemini. Show me more about what's happening to them that they don't expect. Another eight. Eight of swords. Hmm. Feeling kind of stuck somewhere. Um... Self-imposed, though, it's not, no one's trapped anywhere or someone's not trapped somewhere. It's all in someone's head or there's something that's being held off because somebody's thinking something through or trying to plan something. Also, someone, there could be someone who's experiencing some sort of anxiety about moving forward or where to go next or what to do next. So it's like somebody's stagnant right now, but it's because somebody isn't sure of the direction they're moving in. So... Things have kind of installed or halted. Hmm. Could be specifically with abundance. There's um, some sort of delay. Um, but there, this also, there's some sort of delay with an offering of love or there's like the Eight of Swords, I'm kind of getting, it's like a hiccup. It's um, an obstacle. Okay, show me more. Okay, and then we have the Six of Wands, but ultimately, wow, it's so beautiful because we have the butterfly in the cocoon and then we have the butterfly out of the cocoon. Pretty beautiful. Yeah, so ultimately something is successful. Somebody finds balance and somebody finds like some sort of peace um, with the direction that they're going in or where they are or something is achieved. There's some sort of achievement. Okay, also, there could be someone... Um, that you're connected with that's wanting to reach out to you or wanting to give you something or say something to you or confess something or express emotion to you and it's like somebody was needing to work on themselves or was working on themselves or was working on something could have been working on making more abundance for themselves and somebody was kind of stuck but somebody gets themselves unstuck so that they're able to have some sort of again achievement or success of some kind with somebody okay Somebody's been doing a lot of work. Um, if there's something that you've been putting work into, a lot of work into, a lot of energy into is really what I want to say. Um, there could be a little bit of a setback, but it's it's there's it's like a mistake that's for the purpose of learning, or a setback that's for the purpose of learning, or an obstacle that's for the purpose of learning to like grow, <laughs> to um, 
like flourish or to expand on something, expand your awareness of something. That's kind of what I'm getting to with the butterfly thing here. Um, yeah, but there could be some sort of success in like work or business if you're, or something that you've created that you've been putting time and effort into. Okay, let's get some specific details for you, Gemini. Um, the, there's something that's like, like, that's like making me feel like there's some anxiety with the Eight of Swords, like there's like, because of stagnancy or feeling unaware of which direction to move in or how do you, how do you overcome an obstacle? And there is a solution that's found or there's something that's, that alleviates the anxiety of it or something like that. Okay. Yeah, this is either you making movement in a certain direction, trying to create some sort of abundance um, and f ultimately finding success, but through a transformation, there also could have been some ego that comes up that's needing to be adjusted or um, addressed. Or this is somebody in regards to you that's trying to move towards you and there was a delay of some kind, but again, ultimately there's success, there's a transformation and there's something to celebrate too, I want to say with the Six of Wands. felt like their efforts weren't paying off the way they wanted them to. That will change once what was needing to be recognized gets recognized. It's like whatever was creating some sort of stagnancy or again anxiety or lack of movement, whatever was creating that was needing to be addressed and like realized so that Somebody could transform, somebody could expand their knowledge on something, I want to say too, or it's some lesson that somebody learned. Okay. All right. Please show me more about this for Gemini. Please show me more about what's happening for them that they don't expect. That it would benefit them to expect it. Oh, goodness gracious. Five of Pentacles. Mmm. Somebody could have been trying to make movement in like a really like difficult spot, could have been lacking financially. There was something that was built up though over time. It started off like somebody didn't really have much or didn't really have, didn't either it was like didn't really have much like in physical things, but also with the Five of Pentacles, I'm feeling like a lack of spiritual awareness or a lack of awareness of energy or just some sort of knowledge. Somebody was like living this way. So it like it's something about this kept someone in a lack mentality or somebody started working on this or trying to again expand their knowledge of something. It's spirituality. Um, but yeah, either someone was lacking in physical things again or they were lacking in like awareness of energy or something like that. Spiritual awareness. Hmm. Um, there could be something having to do with abandoning something or leaving something behind so that you can move towards something else. Um, there could be something where someone lost their job too, I want to say. Somebody started working hard. Somebody could have started working for themselves or started on some sort of passion project, put a lot of energy in, put a lot of work in. Because that's, with this Eight of, I almost said Eight of Wands, but Eight of Pentacles, I'm really feeling like it's just like a lot of effort. Like somebody who just got really focused on their work or on their spiritual practices or learning certain things or something like that. Like somebody got really focused on it. Um, okay, show me more for Gemini. Tell me more about this for Gemini. Two of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so like even even though a lot of work was being put into something, there was still, um, I want to say confusion. 
about direction or confusion about like what someone's working for or something like that. Also, okay. Also, this this could be someone either this is you or someone in regards to you that's going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Um And somebody was kind of juggling between like logic and spirituality. It's important to find a balance. Okay. Somebody could have needed um, grounding. It's like somebody got lost in their work or something or got lost in working on something or working on themselves. Um, someone could have been working a lot too. A little bit of a workaholic to try to avoid something or to take their mind off of something that ultimately led to like feeling kind of stuck somewhere feeling like oh I don't know where to go or what's what's gonna happen with this eight of swords okay okay well yeah there's something with the spirituality like someone who was getting into spirituality it's like um it's like juggling the two different worlds. Like, again, coming back to trying to be logical, but also trying to be, like, spiritual. That kind of stuff. It's it, it's something about, like, there was, cl like, clashing in somebody's life because maybe people around you or daily habits or something. Or, this, again, this is someone that's connected to you, too, if it's not you. It's like something was clashing. Um, there could have been people in the environment that were kind of, like shooting down ideas that someone was sharing about spirituality or about about anything really but it's kind of making me feel like somebody was juggling like two different lives two different mindsets maybe somebody even tried to adjust their beliefs or what they said their beliefs were based on who they were around that's kind of what I'm getting to with the two of pentacles Um, also, you know, someone's been working really hard that somebody lost their job or lost something or lost some sort of, I want to say income, source of income, something like that. Somebody started working really hard, had to juggle a lot. Um, there is relief at the end of that, though. Once something in the mind space is realized, that still goes with the butterfly thing. It's like some sort of... Um, stability with finances or stability with something comes in after maybe a realization is had mentally to create this transformation something creates the transformation even information that somebody learns okay but with the eights here that is indicating some sort of karma going on too all right please show me more for gemini look at that we have the ten of pentacles yeah somebody felt like they couldn't achieve their ten of pentacles or somebody is feeling like they can't achieve their they can't achieve their ten of pentacles like they're locked off from it but with the eight of swords it's specific that it's kind of self-imposed the feeling stuck there feeling like you can't move forward or you don't know where to go or you don't have clarity or how to get something that you want um it's all in the mind it's not real the the separation of you and what you want isn't real you can have everything that you want now. Like, there's something with the mind space that was needing to be adjusted or addressed. Because somebody was keeping themselves stuck somewhere when it wasn't necessary. Or somebody thought they were, like, locked away from their Ten of Pentacles, but that's not the case. Somebody felt like they couldn't achieve ultimate happiness or that that wasn't possible or that, yeah, it was too difficult to achieve. So many Pentacles here. This really could have something to do with finances and money. Definitely. Uh, material things. Some sort of success of some kind. Somebody could somebody could have wanted to achieve some sort of fame or is trying to achieve some sort of fame and then somebody gets into somebody's working really hard and then somebody gets into this rut where they feel like they it can't be achieved, like they're held back from it. Um, it could have to do with other people's opinions in the environment as well or the directions that other people want you to go in. Okay, show me more, please. Show me more, please, for Gemini. Show me more. 
sorry about this for Gemini, please. The world, yeah, there's a change happening. Somebody's, somebody's like blossoming too. Somebody's advancing to the next level. The, a new cycle is achieved. Somebody could have been doing some like really good like work with energy or like quantum jumping or just some really good like manifesting techniques or reality shifting techniques somebody's utilizing and using. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is awesome. It's like somebody was like in a rough place or like was stuck somewhere, thought they were stuck somewhere. And there's some serious achievement here at the end. It's like a whole new world with the world here. All new. A huge transformation. Um, through a realization or learning something or just like alleviating something. It's like, uh, again, coming back to like the obstacle. The obstacle is what helped someone transform too. So there was great purpose in some sort of obstacle that somebody um, was experiencing. Okay, so what's what with it? What what uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what about this is so unexpected for Gemini? Oh, one more time. What about this is so unexpected for Gemini? Oh, one more time actually. <laughs> Okay. What about this is so unexpected? What else are we needing to share with Gemini about this? What other messages do we have to share with Gemini? Justice. Wow. And the lovers. Wow. So we have Libra energy and Gemini energy. There's justice for Gemini. That's honestly what I got with the justice and the lovers coming out here. There's some sort of justice for Gemini. Um, justice is coming in and something is coming together. Um... Yeah, where if this is work, there's some sort of um, divine decision or like decision of the divine that that you're going to be doing something or you're going to be getting something. You're going to be getting some sort of justice. A lot about balance too. Something's needing to be balanced out. Um, something's needing to be balanced out because you know all the sixes and then we have justice with the scales here. But either way, um, there's uh, what was I saying? What was I saying before that? Oh, work. With work. Oh, there's some decision being made in work. I can't remember what I was saying right before that. Oh, the divine decision. Okay. Yeah, there's some decision that the divine has made for you to have something or for you to be blessed with something or be given something or to be on the road to achieving something. Um, if, if there's people out there that have like some sort of social media profile or something that you do in the public eye, there's going to be some change with that and there's um, going to be something to celebrate or something to be praised about here in the future. Um, yeah, justice. <laughs> justice is what's so unexpected. But also there could be something with like your divine path that's kind of unexpected, especially if this is about work for you. Um, or path in general. Um, also, there could be some sort of relationship that's coming together, some divine counterparts that are coming together, and it's justice. Things are back, I want to say back to normal, but they're um, back to balanced. They are back the way they should be. Um, some sort of divine counterparts. Yeah, some sort of union. That's not for everyone, but um, there's definitely some divine counterparts that are coming together. Hmm. Something about the obstacle could be bringing divine counterparts together. Something about the obstacle helps two people come together. Two people could be experiencing a similar obstacle. Two divine counterparts is what I mean. Okay, any other messages for Gemini here? Any other messages for Gemini? Yeah, what's so unexpected is that Gemini is getting justice. The High Priestess. Yeah, follow your intuition. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to your dreams. Um, your intuition is right about something. Um, yeah, your intuition is going to be helping you in the right direction. It's not going to be... It's like how to tell when, like, 
in, it's if it's intuition or if it's ego, like your intuition is going to be helping you in the right direction, going to be giving you good advice, going to be telling you like more high vibrational things where your ego is going to be kind of putting in like fearful things or like, it's like when you're like, if you're sitting there thinking like, oh, like, don't do this, your house will burn down, you know what I mean? Like, that's your ego, that's like the fear. If what you have to, if you're trying to decide whether or not you're receiving messages that are going to help you in the correct direction or not, pay attention to how positive they are or how like fear-based they are and decide through that. Like if it's, if it's, if it's something about fear or if it's like, if it's like some sort of like danger warning like that's typically the ego because the intuition is going to be helping you in the right direction there's no need to talk about what we don't want you know your intuition is not going to be like don't do again don't do that because your house will burn down because your intuition is not trying to talk about your house burning down it's just going to tell you to do something simple you know what i mean it's not going to be because your house will burn down you know what i mean it's like when the fear when the fear comes in it's like that's how you know it's your ego. So it, there could be something about expanding on your intuition, but um, to do that, start paying attention to your intuition and also start being able to decipher between intuition and ego um, and try to channel messages and intuition from a higher vibrational place. Um, yeah, pay attention to your dreams. Yeah, okay, so that's the message for you, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that if this resonated with you, that it provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation. Um, best of luck going through it. If you'd like a personal reading, you can, again, check out the description. And lots and lots and lots and lots of love to you, as always. Bye.